Hey, 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 this is Rochelle from CableCrack.com. This video is exclusive to CableCrack.com customers only because we appreciate your business and we want to make sure that the devices that we sell to you will always have the newest and the flyest things out there. So this video is specifically to show you how to update your device and... This may happen when Cody changes or there's a new add-on. So let's get started. We want to fire up our Fire Stick. We want to make sure we're connected to Wi-Fi. So we're going to go to Settings. We're going to go to, going to, go to Network. And then I'm already connected to my Wi-Fi, but if I wasn't, it would ask me for a password. I would enter it, and then I would be connected. Now the next step would be to erase Cody. So we'll go to settings again, click on applications, and then scroll down to manage installed applications. We'll find Cody in that list. We'll scroll down, click on that. And then we'll go down to the uninstall option, click on that twice. And that will remove Cody from our manage applications. As you can see, if you scroll up and down the list, it is no longer there. Okay, the next step will be to back out of all of these different options here and get to the home screen of the Fire Stick. We want to find the ES Explorer icon and click on that. Once we click on that, um, just notice the screen inside of ES Explorer. That's the local screen. It has all the little icons on it. And we want to go down the left side of the menu, scroll down and go to the new button, scroll to the right, and then go to the path and click on that. Now the address we're going to enter into this uh, screen is http colon forward slash forward slash Cody K O D I dot TV forward slash download D O W N L O A D forward slash eight five two. So I'm going to show you that right now so we can save some time. Okay, so once we have that Cody address in, we'll click OK. And if that address was typed in correctly, you'll get the Cody page on the right side of the ES Explorer. And you'll get your cursor down to the middle and scroll down and find the button under Release Options ARM V7A 32-bit. Once you find that button, you'll click on it. And then we have to do one more step to see the download. So have your cursor go down the left side menu, then across the bottom menu, click on the three dots, then scroll down and click on open with browser, then click on open with ES downloader just once. And we'll see a box pop up with a status bar. And that is the uh, status bar for the Kodi download. Okay, once Cody downloads, we'll press the open folder. This will put us on the download screen of the ES Explorer, which will have two versions of Cody, the old one and the new one. We want to find the old one, scroll over to it, hold the OK button down on that version, and that will put a green check mark on that version that we want to throw in the trash can. We'll go down the left side of the menu, find the trash can at the bottom, deselect the recycle bin option, and press OK. Now we want to click on the new version of Kodi. We want to go up to the gear icon, click on that. We want to go into system settings. We want to go down to add-ons, go across to unknown sources, click on that, and then click yes to the warning. We want to back out of that screen, and then we'll go down to File Manager. We'll go down to Add Source. We'll click on None. And then we are going to put in the Aries Wizard address. And that address is http colon forward slash forward slash repo, R E P O dot Aries, A R E S dash project P R O J E C T 
dot com forward slash magic m-a-g-i-c i'm putting it on the screen so that you have the correct address to put in okay make sure all your http addresses are correct once you have the aries wizard in you want to go down to the media source field click on that i usually change it to dot a-r-e-s so i can find it easily and press OK. We'll back out of this and go back to the Cody home screen. We'll go down to add-ons and click on that. Then that'll give us the box icon in the left. We'll click on that. And then we'll click on install from zip. Okay, we'll find the dot Aries, click on that. The repository, click on that. Repository, click on that. And the screen will look like it's not doing anything. Um, just wait, it may take a few minutes, okay? But eventually, we are going to see a message pop up stating that we have successfully downloaded Aries, okay? So I'm going to pause right now and then continue with that message so you can see what it looks like. Remember, it could take a few minutes to see the message and the confirmation that the Aries project has successfully installed, but it will eventually pop up as you can see. And once you get that confirmation, we'll move up to install from repository and we'll click on that. We'll go down to Aries project, click on that, go down to program add-ons, click on that, Aries wizard, click on that, and then click on install. This screen gives a better indication of the completion of the install. Now, once the Aries wizard downloads, we'll get a message that will pop up that confirms its completion. And what we want to do is click on it. Then we want to move over to open. And the screen will hesitate a little bit. But eventually you'll get some status bars um, showing that the Aries wizard is downloading. Now after the screen hesitates, it'll look like the screen isn't doing anything like it's frozen. But give it a few moments and it will open up to the Aries wizard screen. We want to click browse builds. We want to go down to pulse. Then we want to click on get pen. Now click on enter pen and I'm going to give you an address. You want to go to your laptop or your phone into this address to get the pen. Once you have the four digit pen and you'll click enter pen and you'll enter that pen and then click done. And if the pen is correct, you will be taken to another screen. And what we want to do is go down to the Pulse CCM Krypton choice. Click on that. Now it will look like it's not doing anything, but eventually the install button in the middle will turn blue. It could take a few moments, so just give it a chance. Now once you get the blue install button, you'll click on it. And that will... Take you to a screen with a few options. I usually just turn them all on and then I click proceed and that will start the download of the Pulse CCM Krypton. So I'm fast forwarding through the download process, but eventually you'll get to this screen again and it'll look like it's not doing anything. Just give it a couple of moments and eventually a message box will pop up to back up the skin, which we would want to do. So I'm going to fast forward to that point in the video. Okay, now we're at the pop-up box for the skin backup. We're just going to press yes to that. And it's going to give you a message that is going to take a couple of minutes. So just be patient for it to finish. Now, after the skin is backed up, you'll get some prize pop-up box. You can press yes or no. And then you have to close Cody, so we'll press OK. That will put us back on the Amazon home screen. And now we want to find Cody. When you first use it, it's not on the home screen. So you have to go to your apps and games, 
scroll across till you see see all. Click on that and then find the Kodi icon. Just highlight it, don't click on it. And on your remote, click the three dashes and then move to front. Then click on the Kodi icon and then usually that will keep the Kodi icon on the home screen under the Recents tab. It usually will stay there after you use Kodi the first time. So when we click on Kodi, uh, we're now going into it for the first time and you saw the Pulse screen pop up because the build that we use is Pulse. Give it a couple of moments, you'll see a black screen and then eventually Kodi will load. Whenever you go into Kodi, you want to always let it update because, of course, the first time it wants to get all of the new updates in. But even when you use it on a regular basis, remember there's new TV shows, new movies, every time you go into it. So it has to update every time you go into it. Okay? If you allow it to update, as you can see, the updates are popping on the screen now at the bottom on the right-hand side. If you allow it to update first, then you can maneuver without any hesitation. So if you let those finish, it's easier to navigate in Kodi. So as you can see, there's your live TV tab, your system tab. There's a new tab called N1 that has some new exciting icons. I would suggest that you play around with the fire stick and look at some add-ons. Uh, we know the ones that we always rely on is the Exodus add-ons for TV shows and movies. Um, that's what I'm showing you right now on the screen. And always when you go to live TV, there's the supremacy add-on that I'm showing you right now, and that's an excellent add-on as well. So more reliable add-ons i like to point out. On your Sports tab, you have the Pro Sport and Sports Devil add-ons. And they're decent. I want to say recently they haven't been as great, but they have supplied some of the sports that I watch. And there's a new tab called N1, and that tab has the supremacy icon. And in addition to supremacy giving you live cable channels, it also gives you other stuff. So check that out as well. I hope this video tutorial is helpful and will allow you to keep your TV devices purchased from us up to date. We appreciate your business and Tell people about CableCrack.com. We're a great source and pass the word, please. We appreciate it.